the book of Revelations is rooted in the Christian religion. The final chapter of the Bible, as it is called, references some of the darkest predictions and stories in the Bible. Most notably, the Bible is about the past events. The book of Revelations is in the future. Most notably, the second coming of Jesus Christ, but also the prediction of the fake Messiah, the fake second coming of Jesus Christ. A person will rise to power in time of desperation and destruction. It will seem like the end of humanity. Some call it the age of apocalypse, and when all hope is lost, people start losing hope and faith. People can only pray that our Savior will return. That's why the fake Messiah will easily fool almost everyone. This person can be referred to as the Antichrist. Now, when will this fake Messiah come? When and why would he come? Obviously, there would be a need to be a time of despair, and may we call it the Apocalypse. What type of Apocalypse? When and how will it start? What if I told you it already has started? In order to explain how the Apocalypse has started, I need to explain to you something called the New World order. One of the most notorious and biggest conspiracy theories is the New World Order. Essentially, the New World Order is a one-world government, a government of totalitarianism and authoritarianism, a communistic state, and a time with no individual freedom. It's where the global elites or politicians will live on the hills with luxurious mansions while the rest of the public will be forced into labor and will receive the very minimum needed to survive. They want complete population control. They will control what we believe, what we do, and how we think. So how does this relate to the apocalypse? Well, realistically, it's impossible for this one authoritarian government to take over the entire globe without backlash and fight from the people. And of course, the people itself would win in this instance. The only real way to completely take control of the entire population is in a scenario where people would depend and rely on the government. We sort of saw this recently with the pandemic, where we depended on the government to help fight off the virus and keep us safe. Of course, they would need a pandemic much more serious than the one we recently had, however. It almost seems that we would need a pandemic that severely affected the entire globe. It would have to be a pandemic that would threaten the existence and future of humanity. Something like that for all we know, might never happen on itself. The New World Order wouldn't just wait for God only knows how long until the next virus is formed. They'd take it in their own hands and make their own virus. But it couldn't just be a simple virus. There would have to be more. There would have to be a mass panic, tons of destruction, essentially anarchy. This is where the government would need to release something to the world. It could be World War III and nuclear fallout. It could be another version of the plague, but even more deadly. It would take something where the world would need the government to save itself. A lot of people believe the one world government would work together to purposely create the apocalypse, whatever it would be. They would purposely pull the strings and create havoc, create wars that just don't need to happen. Similar to the Russian and Ukraine war, it seems like the tensions between the countries and the fear of World War III is kind of stupid and doesn't make sense. It doesn't need to happen, but it doesn't need, but it also does need to happen because that's how the New World Order will take complete control. The theory and speculation of this New World Order, after it has created the apocalypse and left people on their knees begging for the mercy of God, there would be this one person essentially made to look like the second coming of Jesus. A person meant to bring prosperity, give us all hope. Of course, this second coming of Jesus is fake. This person is ultimately the one behind the plan of creating the apocalypse. He will pretend to be our friend. He will pretend to be the Messiah or ultimately replace him altogether. 
But in the end, its ultimate goal is to bring people and society to its very edge and rebuild a new society where this fake messiah is the face of it. He's the one we owe our respect and must worship. We must listen to whatever he has to say, because obviously he is our savior. He has saved us from the apocalypse. The one that he created, however. But we won't know that, because at that point, he'd be our only hope for survival. If you'd even question him or go out of place, you'd be killed. This is the Antichrist. This is the New World Order. This is the New World Order's plan, and you must follow in line or you will be killed. Today, our government seemingly is at a breaking point, a place of division. The world seems to be falling apart. Wars are in the distance, cyber attacks, pandemics are all among us. This fake alien invasion is upon us. All these things are used to drive fear into the core of humanity. We are living in the times of change and on the horizon of the apocalypse. If people don't wake up and act soon, it'll be too late.